Hey ladies and gentlemen, it seems there is hope in this world with the clip that you're going to see right now when people are just defaming people without making any points. Like, don't label me this way, but they label everybody to justify the way they're thinking. So before we start with the video, remember to like, hit the uh, share, um, everything, um, subscribe, bada bim bam boom, and let's start with the video. The the whole thing with Ron DeSantis. Love, right? love him. You love uh -oh. Ron DeSantis? I am obsessed obsessed with him okay he's like extremely homophobic like to every extent of yeah the i word. disagree yeah oh he disagree it makes sense the dude isn't saying anything homophobic but it seems that if you tell somebody don't talk about the anal sex that you did with your boyfriend a few days ago or whatever that's homophobic nah man i missed the 80s okay so yeah let me know why you disagree. So, I mean, this homophobe thing, this homophobe crap comes from yeah. this bill, the Parental Rights and Education Bill, that just makes sure that teachers aren't talking to kids about anal sex. I don't think that's being homophobic. Well, wait, well, See? Can you, do you feel like California and New York, as a result, because you have the freedom to be yourself openly, is more free than Florida in that sense? What? No, 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 no. Work is not free. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, when you have a job, Mm. You're not free to do whatever you want. If you go work for mm. Coca-Cola and you run around the office saying, I blew a big penis this week. I blew a big penis. Do you think you're going to be able to keep your job? No, you're not free at work. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. So when you go to school, teach math. Don't teach how you met somebody, what your boyfriend sent you to that day. It's not a freaking soap opera. You're not going to go to school to receive validation that you didn't receive from your family. Go to therapy. So no, that's not what freedom is about. I can date a man in Florida. I can date a man in California. Yeah. Sorry, I can't talk to kids about blowjobs if I'm a teacher in Florida. Yeah. Don't go to the Google search history of the kid when they thought something was interesting. Find out, oh my God, we need to put him in special class of the LGBTQ because he was interested. People, you're labeling the whole room with colors. Of course they're gonna search it. Of course you're gonna believe everybody's gay. Tomboys? That don't that exist. That's a trans man. I guess it's very targeted at, you know, a specific segment of the society and <laughs> No <laughs> I like his face. This is so stupid. It's not targeted. It's targeted at teacher to keep that thing home. You feel targeted. A, a straight a straight teacher couldn't talk to students about blow. I don't want a straight teacher talking about the blow job she gave this past weekend. I don't want a straight teacher talking about how she fucked her husband that week. No, it's not about that. Mm. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. They don't and, know what to say. They don't know what to say. And parents have the right to understand what their children are learning in the classroom. Uh -huh. the point is, I think that people should just be free to express themselves. And I no, 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 no. Because by that logic, you know that I'm not free to express many things because you call me a bigot, an ableist, or something. You label everything, everything in such a bad way. You got trans women that are homophobic because they're not sure what they want to be. It's like, what? Internalize this, internalize that? If you're like- You are free uh, to express yeah. yourself, but not at, not at your job. If you're, uh -huh. if you're working for a corporation, if you're working for the government, like at a public school, you're a teacher, you don't have the right to just do whatever. You have certain things, cer certain requirements you have to follow. This isn't a free for all. This isn't for you yeah. to show up and talk about, you know, your life story and oh my gosh, I just banged this hot guy this weekend. He had a huge penis. No, it's not about that. It's yeah. about yeah. that. So if you want to do that, go find a different career in which you're not dealing with children. Yeah, ju just be a trans woman and have these shows that many people approve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now with the album are you paying attention and then parents are gonna be like hey that's a bad thing that's a totally different thing because we know exactly what you're doing but right now you're teaching kids things that i'm not even allowed to speak publicly because you're gonna be like oh my god that's kind of disgusting we have kids here well it's gonna be posted on youtube it's plus 18 but you want to teach the kids in private at the school that you have them more than eight hours and then you're going to tell the parents they're the caregiver and the teacher is the parents and they make a TikTok, put it online and when we point it out we are releasing that information on the internet we we're just pointing out something that you posted and that's still bad so just being open about who they are without teach my kid math teach my kid science teach my kid history i don't i i don't need you to be talking to my kid about your personal life at all yes okay. you're at work 
That's uh, so from what you saw in the video, right? You're gonna be like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Can be something more interesting happening with these teachers that are teaching kids this stuff, of course, especially when somebody is defending the teacher with this tweet. Also, convert your children. I would look at where the boys were coming from, maybe their birth families were worse in their physical, emotional, spiritual. Psychological abuse. The boys could have been better off with loving sexual relationships. Mm. Main problem is when they grow up and want the romance. Seems like a very deep conversation, right? The only thing is, it's about these two people. George, a couple charged with using their adopted children to make a porn. And this person on the bottom left is covering for that. Certain mommies are like, as a mental health professional, a mother and a decent human, this might be the most disgusting thing I've ever read on Twitter. And that's saying a lot. You shouldn't be allowed to be anywhere near children. You're sick. Look, man, uh, you can tell me whatever you want. They wanna fuck the kids. And that comes from a very nice chill Christian that usually doesn't use profanity. It's messed up. There's no clearer way that I can place it. How can you keep engaging in specific stuff that is related to sex, but you defend, well, they need to understand what is going on. What do you mean? I had this discussion with this left-wing guy, told me, kids don't know what they're doing down there. They're exploring. I'm like, yes, but officially, if that explore would have been done when they're later, it would be a, like a sexual thing, yeah? I was, yeah, sure. So it's an innocent thing. He can do it. He's not jacking off. He's just playing with his pee, -pee. I'm like, yeah. So you're telling me that you can change your mind and become a kid and play with the peepee -pee with the kid together? Is that what you want? I don't see where you people are talking about or trying to rationalize this, but it's time to call these people out. If you talk about sex and you need to talk about sex with kids, you're sick in the head. 100%. If the kid has question, educate him in the different direction. Not there and don't teach him how to suck a pee pee which some of these little books show in, at school. It's messed up. So Christian Walker, thank you for calling this out. Even if I'm a Christian, even if I don't really dabble in this material, I don't see a lot of gay men. If you're gay, not sure, but you seem kind of feminine, but do you do you, you do you. But the thing is, I'm surprised that you can say something like that and everybody feels like so uncomfortable. What? He thinks so different? But he's black. But he's gay. I don't know what the heck is happening, but we need to talk. That's, uh... I'm not, okay, no, shut up. Why would you consider that normal? Why? Why? You adopted the kids to give them a better life? And the first thing you're gonna do with them with time, this gay couple, is make a porn video with him? And now you got people defending you? Nah, go to prison. Go to prison. And I don't mind if they let everybody know what you were doing to these kids. Hey, we adopted some kids without family. We made a point video with them. I don't know, man. Let me know what you people think. Like, share. Spread the news. Spread the news. Because I'm done being nice. Seriously. This last vi the last video, I was like, what the heck is going on? But now I'm done. I'm too nice to you people for some reason. What do you mean, you people? And if you're gonna go to try to talk to a kid about sex and educate them, I'm gonna call you out. And I'm gonna look for this material because people need to know. Right now in Barcelona, something stupid idiot came with the plan. We're gonna have fun with the kids. Bought a bunch of stuff we can do. Yay! Only to find out you're gonna see your kid trying to put a condom on a banana. Everybody was like, what the heck? And then the government, the, the minister said, oh, apologies, apologies. Uh, we, we didn't give you all the details. Next time we will No, no, you're not going to inform me shit. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. Why would you think this is normal? You, you try to do this ninja stuff. Oh my God, we didn't know you could offend it. Yes, we will get offended. Do that at home with your own freaking kid. And when you find out, we will arrest you. That's it.